here in this moment, wherever you are, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter in what condition you're in. You may be ill, you may be broke, you may be well, doesn't matter. It's always here because it comes from within your own self. That's where it is. It's not coming from somewhere else. It's not subject to a location or a time. So this transformation, ascension to fifth dimension, we're talking about transcending that a lot of people speak about or we've read about it or heard about it or we feel it. It's not possible, it's impossible. You cannot transcend to this higher dimension unless you learn the fundamentals the A, B, C, D of the language of how to transcend. And that is to be here. To be here and now, in this place, wherever you are. And in here, you begin to feel the presence. And that by itself transforms you. It's an automatic process that takes place. You don't need to do anything about it because it is a part of the evolution. As you don't have to think about your hair growing, it grows on its own. You don't need to worry about it or figure out how it works. Same thing, no difference. It's just putting your attention in this place and then bless begin to appear no matter where you are. But if you think it's a condition, if you think that all the conditions have to be right according to the way you like it, then you are going to make it, then you're dreaming and you're going to stay in the dream because your mind is projecting, again, it's tricking you because this is to go beyond the mind into the presence, into silence. This is not the mind. This is the presence. The presence is different than the mind. The presence is here all the time. The mind is all over. So this is our golden opportunity to do it now. perfect we're locked down there's not much entertainment so why not do it maybe something good comes out of it you never know obviously your old ways don't work so why not try something else why don't i just pay attention to the being okay anybody has any questions for me You can unmute yourself or you can write on the chat box or wave at me. No questions. Okay. I have a question. This is Tara Lynn Noel. Yeah, hello. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for my question? Yeah, welcome. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Go ahead. Um, when you mentioned, of course, the mind is, is there a technique or a tool that can be used 
when you can observe your mind just moving, you know, going from topic to topic, it just keeps going. And you, you see it, you realize it's doing that. Is there something to stop it? It's very annoying. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. You can't stop the mind by the mind. So, but you notice that your mind is moving. Uh, are you, maybe you keep yourself unmuted so we can talk. Okay, thank you. Okay. So you mentioned, yeah, you mentioned uh, that you, you are seeing the mind moving. You, you see movement, correct? Thoughts. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So that you're seeing things moving in front of you, then you must be somewhere stationary that you're noticing movement. So where is your seat inside yourself? Where is your location? You have to have a location uh, somewhere that you're speaking to me. Uh, and from the location you're at right now, you have noticed that the mind is busy. You notice thoughts. So you must be somewhere stationary, the real you that is noticing something's moving the movement of thoughts, because thoughts come and go. So they appear to somebody. Somebody is you, noticing fear. it. Yeah. So who is this person who notices the thoughts? Well, so my understanding you may say, is like, go ahead. My understanding it's the higher you know, my higher self witnessing the, all of the, the thoughts, but it just becomes a little tiresome to be constantly, it's just like a flurry of them jumping from topic to topic and just witnessing it. I don't know, I feel a little exhausted watching right. it. Sometimes. Right, right. It's exhausting because, <clears throat> it's exhausting because your attention is on the thoughts your attention is not on the one who notices the thoughts. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's just, uh, this is a very valid question, concern. I'm glad you brought this up. And this is something everybody struggles with. All right, so let's do this. I want you to take your attention inwards to the source where the observer is. Okay, and we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna call it you, uh, Terlin, right? Yes, Terlin. 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 Yes, Terlin. Okay, Terlin, it's you. So you are somewhere stationary, and you're aware of your thoughts. So, okay, let's take a look. Look into your mind right now and see what you're thinking. Do you have any thoughts? 